Bingo. <laughs> Four o'clock rock. Energy <laughs> this is Think Wednesday. Tech. Energy Wednesday. Hawaii, the state of clean energy, with Sharon Moriwaki and me, yours truly, <laughs> Jay Fidel, co-hosting on our energy, our flagship energy show. And with us to join us from Hawaiian Electric is Michael Colon, and he is the director of New Customer Initiatives. Very Hello. important because you reach out and touch people, yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, we're hoping to expand uh, our customer options um, and services to provide greater uh, customer solutions for our uh, customers. So you've been walking on air for the last day or so because you won this fabulous award yesterday at the Hawaii Clean Energy Day celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're very excited. We're uh, very grateful uh, to have received an Thank award. You, sir. Um, we received the a uh, Transformational Achievement and Advancing Clean Energy Award for our DC fast chargers for uh, the Hawaiian Electric Companies. Sharon, you want to describe it quickly what it means and why and yeah, you know, the significance? Yeah, we, we sought it out because, um, and, and it was voted on by all our members, um, that, that it was because of its customer um, and, and transfer, transportation connection and it really is well, not only the range anxiety kinds of concerns and getting to condo owners who don't have access but it really was that that combination of energy efficiency throughout the system and creating a system and being the first to pull that together and that was what uh, the forum really saw as transformational that you're really connecting customer and transportation needs as well as the grid and, and having batteries for the grid as well. Right, right. It's really um, being able to enable uh, interested EV owners to have a publicly accessible resource for vehicle charging. Uh, people who live in condos may or may not have uh, access to vehicle charging, so it's a public resource. And then also if they're concerned about um, driving long distances and being able to reach those long distances, we put them in strategic locations where they um, would be able to get their quick charge and continue on their way. So it really lowers barriers to adoption of electric vehicles. That's what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. You know, there were two touch points. One, of course, the award, the Transformational Award, which uh, the Energy Policy Forum feels is very important, and what you did is very important. But the other is the fact that uh, a good part of our program, at least a third of it, was dedicated to transportation. And transportation, in, in you know, most substantial part, is uh, all the fossil fuel that being, that being used on the highways today as we speak, in, in a million cars, and some have to change public conduct to get them out of those fossil fuel cars. And, you know, the obvious uh, solution, to me anyway, is to use electric cars or maybe hydrogen cars. But uh, you've got to change public attitudes. You've got to change right. people, the way they think and live. And we have got to find lots of incentives. Well, this, and I think you, you know, should get credit for this, aside from the award, um, this is a tremendous incentive. This is you know, a, a range anxiety incentive. Uh, is, is worth more than the money it costs to put it in, in, in place. Right. So when you buy an electric vehicle, you're really buying, in addition to a different type of vehicle, you're a new fuel source, and that comes with it a lot of challenges. It's um, a different way of behavior. You charge at home if you can. If you can't, you charge at um, publicly available charging stations. But, you know, there's fear and trepidation about adopting that um, transition. Sure and is. So being able to incentivize that through, um, you know, a DC fast charger where people can charge really quickly, or we also have time of use rates that um, give a discount for if you charge your vehicle during certain times of day. We view those as really good ways of incentivizing people to adopt and change their lifestyle, really. There it is. This is really moving it ahead as far as I'm concerned. And so how fast, how fast does the DC charger charge? Okay, so um, you, you've heard of level one. Level one is if you just plug into a wall socket 110 with your vehicle. Uh, there's level two. You see them at grocery stores and malls. Uh, sometimes they're even free. Um, that will charge, let's take a Nissan Leaf. It'll charge a Nissan Leaf uh, about 80% full in four hours. Our DC fast chargers charge that same vehicle 80% full in about 30 minutes. That's pretty wow, good. That's, that's pretty really good. So yeah, you're so uh, that's really attractive on the landscape. Right. Question, how many how many more of them, you know, are on the drawing boards now and what, what's the timeline? So there are five now. Five on Oahu, there's two on the Big Island with one more on the way, and then we have another one on Maui. Uh, we've been authorized by the PUC, the Public Utilities Commission, to do up to 25 across our service territories. 
So uh, with eight currently, we have a few more uh, targeted by the end of this year, early next year for Oahu. And then we uh, will be looking to expand. We're trying to do it in a smart, um, steady way that we target the areas and the needs of the community. We're not just trying to build, um, you know, and, and really trying to make this make sense for people's needs. Yeah, mm -hmm. remember Camel's bearing gifts. The more times you announce that you're adding incremental numbers of chargers, the more people like it. Right. So that means when you <laughs> add more chargers, you should come back and tell yeah, us tell about us it. Yeah. Okay, we will do that. We will do that. I will say uh, we just um, executed an agreement with Alexander and Baldwin, um, so we will be putting one out in Waianae at the Waianae Mall. Oh, good. So that's good. It really gives that far reach out to the west side. Um, it's kind of an anchor for our um, electric vehicle. I have a, okay, I we're going to close leaf. now on wait, this, wait, Sharon. I have a leaf, and we went to Holly Eva, and I had range anxiety coming back. Are you having one out? Close to there? So there is one in Wahiwa at the Dole Plantation. Oh, okay, that was our okay. first one. So oh, okay. I would uh, definitely go there. You can get the um, the Dole Whip also at the same time. So okay, yeah, very good. Well, thank okay, you, let's Michael. look at the picture of the award giving award yesterday. There. Picture of award, and there's, yeah, there's Jim the Alberts there's of Hawaiian gold. Electric, and there, oh, there's Sharon there. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. But that's the globe. Because the globe in the front, you can see them. It's a beautiful. Yes. Uh, and the, oh, that's David Ige, isn't oh, it? Oh, that's Governor Ige. And David Bisnell. And, uh, Bis and, uh, and then we have uh, mayor. Uh, the, uh, the mayor. Uh, mayor Cavallo. Cavallo. Cavallo of, Ka uh, and oh, my God, they're all there. They're all there. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Jim Alberts. Yeah, so congratulations, Michael. Good thank work. Thank you very much. We look forward you. to more from you. Thank you very much for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Aloha. Okay, come Hey, Stan the Energy Man here. I know you're bored this summer. You're just sitting at home, figuring out what to do, go to the beach, spend some time with ThinkTech Hawaii. Spend the time thinking about how you can contribute to Hawaii and making it a better place to live. And start watching some of the programs on ThinkTech, including Stan the Energy Man, where you'll learn all about everything energy, especially hydrogen and transportation. So we'll see you every Friday at 12 o'clock noon. Stan the Energy Man here on ThinkTech Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Kawi Lucas, host of Hawaii is My Mainland, every Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. I also have a blog of the same name at kawilucas.com where you can see all of my past shows. Join me this Friday and every Friday at 3 p.m. Aloha. Aloha. This is Reg Baker with Business in Hawaii. We're a show that broadcasts every Thursday at 2 o'clock. We would love to hear from you and you can reach us in several different ways. We have a hotline that you can call in at 415-871-2474, or you can email us at thinktechhawaii.com, or you can tweet us at thinktechhi. Looking forward to hearing from you and seeing you on our next show. Aloha. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, offering lifelong learning from passionate hosts and fascinating guests ready to explore and explain Hawaii's place in the 21st century. Great content for Hawaii from ThinkTech. Hello, I'm Patrick Bratton. I'm the host of Global Connections. I'm also a professor at Hawaii Pacific University. And my show and some of the other things that we do is show soft the collaboration that we have between ThinkTech Hawaii and Hawaii Pacific University. So I look forward to seeing you and talking with you about a lot of issues dealing with Hawaii, the United States, and the world. Thank you very much. Bingo, we're back. We're here in Hawaii, the State of Clean Energy, our Energy Wednesday show. Sharon Moriwaki and me here on ThinkTech. And uh, we, have a, we have our main guest, our principal guest here is Sean Antonio, Energy Coordinator for the United States Department of Agriculture, also a member of the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum. Wow, hey. how can you live with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for having me, Jay. Absolutely. Thanks, Sharon. Yo, this is a great opportunity for us to uh, be able to deliver the uh, message of REAP, Rural Energy for America program. Yeah. So tell us about REAP. What is it and what do you do? Well, uh, I have a slides okay. to show, but um, you know, in a nutshell, basically is uh, we uh, cover uh, energy. Uh, if you can produce energy uh, by means of uh, energy uh, uh, you know the, uh, sorry energy efficiency if you can do energy yeah. efficiency pro if you have energy efficiency project and you have uh, energy production 
then uh, it can qualify for the. So it's about uh, renewables. It's renewables. If, if I if I fit into the categories of either small business, small rural business, or agricultural, small agricultural business for profit, either way, then I can get a grant from you uh, as long as I have the matching funds. That is correct. If you have the seventy five percent matching funds, uh, of course the. Uh, a project will have to be feasible. Yeah. Then you know we can apply. So in the case of agriculture, if I want to put some renewables on my small farm, um, and I'm spending, I want to say fifty thousand uh, dollars, then what? Seventy-five percent of that I have to raise for matching funds, but the rest of it, which would be twelve five, I think. Right? So, <laughs> correct. <clears throat> uh, that would be that would be from you. That is correct. It's uh, and. Uh, I guess disclosure it, it is a uh, an award system. Yeah. So if you do get the grant, yeah. You're you're right. You get the 70 you do the 75 USDA will cover the 25% grant. So who's who's eligible? Any anybody uh, uh, oh, in a rural know. area who's either uh, in in yeah. agriculture, small agriculture or small business. Correct. So uh, uh, any any small business agriculture that is outside of Honolulu is considered as rural. You're, and you're headquartered in Hilo. We are in Hilo. Yeah, uh, where God office. lives. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say croquis? Croquis, <laughs> croquis. Yeah, we do have croquis. <laughs> oh, that, okay. God and croquis. <laughs> All right, so now what happens is they come and they have to compete, and you, you, give, you score the applications. Yes. And then a couple times a year you have the competition and you award. Um, and if um, you, you lose, uh, if your scoring isn't high enough, your application automatically goes to the national competition where you have a chance to win there. That is correct. Uh, so, for example, if we do have 15 uh, applications and uh, the state level funding can only cover 10 of them, the oh, remaining five oh, that's good. That's has good know. you know, an opportunity to compete uh, national. in the national uh, oh. competition. Oh. And, and it doesn't stop right there. I mean, if it doesn't win the national competition, they can always apply for the next uh, fiscal Yeah, fiscal so and if they keep on applying, and applying, they're more, like, they're, more they're more likely to get it at some point. But I, what you told me before, I think, is very important: is that uh, you have to wait for your grant before you can build your project. You can't build the project first and then get the grant later. That is correct. Uh, it's uh, everything has to be post-application. Mm. Yeah. Um, everything has to be at least. And and I, uh, you know, if you're serious about, or you know, if you apply for this one and you really want an energy project, say for example, this year or the next fiscal year. Uh, I would suggest apply, win the award, get the award, and you know think about it. See yeah. if it's uh, something that you want to yeah. do in the next two years. Everything to gain, nothing to lose. Right. And, and a grant is a grant. There's nothing like a grant. You don't have to pay a grant back. You do not yeah. have to pay yeah. a grant That's good. back. That's good. That's back. Good. Well, the, and also the beauty about that is uh, if um, you have two years to util utilize the fund. Ah. So, if you so as long as you get it, then it takes. You can take yeah, a cool. while. At least two, within two years, you have to just start building, or do you have to finish your project? In well, uh, you can start building, um, so you have two years to utilize. So if you have, uh, if you're going to have the project, say, for example, six months from now, mm -hmm. or a year from now, just have that two-year window to... Um, you're going to pay project. me at the outset, or progress, or what? It's going to be paid after the um, project has been built. Okay. So after uh, the project. So I have to come up with everything, really, if I build it. Yeah. Correct. Uh, and most um, installers, I mean, they do um, uh, put the project, put together the project. Oh, and they'll wait for the 25%. The they can. Yeah. I'm not sure how things work. But uh, that's, on up, that that's up to me as the, the recipient of the grant. I can work that out with my installer. Correct. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and the thing with this one also, and I just want, you know, uh, uh, of course, disclosure, if you. Uh, uh, continue on with your project if you build it without the guarantee or without the grant itself uh, you are at risk of if you don't win the grant don't, then don't qualify, don't qualify. Yeah, yeah yeah now the 75 percent the matching funds I can get that out of my own bank account I can get that from a bank as a loan correct I can get that from a state agency maybe the State Department of Agriculture which also gives grants um, and but I can't get it from is another federal agency yeah. that is correct yeah so that's cool. So I mean, there's lots of here. ways. So let's look, at, let's look at some of the way. slides you have. So yeah. that's a different program. So loan. this, yeah, we do have uh, uh, two components of the program. Uh, the first one, we talked about the grant. Uh, 
Now we have we also have the loan guarantee. Well, and go back to the loan for I mean the the, the grant. The pro- grant. How much can you get? I mean, what is the maximum amount if I apply that I could get for my project? Uh, so there is the minimum is uh, for renewable energy. The minimum uh, grant request would be. Uh, f- I, there's a slide there. I don't know if you can show it. There it is. Mm-hmm. So minimum grant request is uh, two thousand five hundred dollars for renewable energy. And the maximum grant that wow, you can, can request is five hundred thousand dollars. Really? Um, on under the energy efficiency improvements, it's uh, a little bit lower. Fifteen hundred maximum grant is two hundred fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Wow. You know, That's Jay. One thing, and Sharon. One thing I wanted to stress out is uh, a lot of uh, applicants, or even you know, like people who has energy projects. You know, I highly suggest they start with, and it's not very popular for some weird reason. They should start with energy efficiency. And then they, they build mm-hmm. their uh, PV mm-hmm. system mm-hmm. Yeah. because they're saving uh, money. Right, it's by like, definition, mm-hmm. they're getting money in order to save money. Mm-hmm. Works on both ends. Yeah. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's an outstanding program. I mean, I'm, I'm very motivated to uh, uh, have this out in the uh, rural communities, uh, small business. So, like, tell us some of the projects that have um, gotten awards in in our in our community. Uh, that that you might want to share so people listening, uh, watching can see. Oh yeah, I it can is do real, that. right? Yeah, right, yeah. it is real. So, so. Um, I don't know if you can s- if you have you know the. Uh, I think number ten. Let's see if we got we got a bunch of slides here. There it is. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is real. I mean, it's Look, it's, it's all these people are, are awardees in this program. This is the, the renewables. And, and uh, again, you know, we have, um, you know, separated by islands, uh, obviously, of course, we have. But we have Maui. We pretty much covered everything. Maui, all, all uh, islands. Big Island. Uh, one thing that I noticed also with these applications, uh, you know, we have a lot of people from Maui applying for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are this mostly solar projects, or are, are there other types of projects, renewable projects, that have come in? Very popular is uh, solar. We have solar projects, and I mean this. This uh, there's another slide actually that shows uh, what other uh, uh, energy source that we can fund. Uh, I think that's the fourth slide. Oh, yeah, memorized. <coughs> but I noticed from the slide you just showed that they range anywhere from, I mean, in practical fact, from ten thousand to maybe one hundred and twenty-five thousand. So there's a huge. It's pretty good. It's yeah, good some range. of these projects are pretty substantial. Yeah. Which is good. It captures mm-hmm. the lower end and it captures the higher end yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah. the spectrum. So. Okay, here's the next uh, slide. Here it is. So eligible okay. projects uh, under energy efficiency. Uh, we have mm-hmm. lighting. Mm-hmm. You want to replace it. Uh, lighting to a LED. Yeah. Uh, HVAC. Pretty much it covers heating, cooling, yeah. ventilation. Mm-hmm. Pretty even, diverse. Even automated controls. I mean, it's it's mm-hmm. you know you can you can be uh, uh, it's it's uh, it covers a lot of a uh, yeah and all this is hardware which you you get to buy and enjoy and which helps you be efficient and save uh, money and time and all that mm-hmm. going into the future. So it's really just as valuable in a, in, a, in a to a small business or a small farm as uh, if not more. Um, than uh, energy, renewable energy sources, yeah. Um, and then you had a whole list on the right-hand side of all the renewable possibilities there. Correct. Um, so what's more popular in, the, in, in, you know, on your desk? Is it energy efficiency or is it renewable sources? It's a renewable energy. Uh, uh, that's very popular right solar. now. Mm-hmm. But, solar. But, you know, or? now we have solar uh, specifically. Mm. Yeah. Uh, now we have... Um, uh, hopefully, my high hopes would be uh, go towards on the energy efficiency, because I I, I think one of the uh, and again statistically, one of the things that I guess w- is more challenging for uh, uh, to have to package this uh, application together is we don't have a lot of uh, energy auditors um, or energy uh, ass- assessors mm. who would yeah, be able yeah, to yeah, go yeah. out. Mm-hmm. So you're friendly about it. <laughs> I'm here from the government, and I'm friendly about it. (laughs) (laughs) You know, at one point in time, and 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 I know you've you you have a program now, uh, that federal grants are really hard to apply for because there's lots of paper and lots of questions, and you know it's hard for farmers to put that kind of stuff together. Even small business people, right? They've got their hands full with their business. Um, What have you done uh, to help 
these applicants um, who want to apply for? Yeah, that's, that's an outstanding uh, question. Actually, there is, um, and I guess one of the one of my goal being an energy coordinator for USDA is to simplify everything for uh, our potential yeah. applicants. Uh, we have a lot of uh, kind of collecting all the resources that I have. Uh, well, one is application. People shy away with the application. The other component also is, uh, I guess, the uh, grant writers. Um, we have the Kohala Center over in the Big oh, Island. Okay, who would, Betsy Coles Group. Betsy Coles ah. Group. Oh, they really? would be able to. Uh, How does that work? They, they help, they'll help they help write? Write, write the grant. They help. Do they get you know, compensated go, by you or by the grantee? No, no, it's, it's, uh, this is free of charge. Free of charge. Service. How service. wonderful. That's great, really. So I, I, well, maybe when Betsy uh, yeah. you know, yeah, visits, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can talk about that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I think it's very important to understand that federal grants are not easy. The federal government has earned itself a low rating, I'm sorry to say this, in terms of <laughs> friendliness on grants, because it's very hard. You want to go to grants.gov, you know, take an aspirin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you're not an experienced grant writer, okay, right. and here, and, and the other aspect is, we're talking about the outer islands, the neighbor islands, and there's a lot of poverty, there's, a lot, there's not a lot of income, there's not a lot of money, uh, there's not a lot of business experience there, it's country. It's the old Hawaii, it's country. Mm -hmm. And people don't know anything about this sort of thing. So if you just say, here, make a grant, you know, you're going to run into you're going to run into that. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you give them somebody who will help them write it, that changes everything. Mm -hmm. That changes everything, yeah, absolutely. And does Kohala Center help others other than in the, on the Big Island, like you know, Maui or Kauai? Or you know, I, I would check with, um, but from well, the, some of the applications that I have received are actually from Kohala, and they're very well packaged. So um, I was actually on Maui, um, when was this, about two weeks ago, and we have... Um, other uh, uh, SBDC is in fact you know willing and might mm. be able to uh, assist do the same yeah. thing do the yeah. same thing yeah. Yeah. that would be good if you have this one is really good because this has been the barrier this great. has been the obstacle it's a real big barrier yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I know there was a time way back with um, Tim when he you know he had 60 million dollars to help me spend this buddy but nobody wanted to come forward because it was so difficult to get you know to write the grant and submit it and all of that Right. And that's the thing, John. Um, you know, you are, you're an unusual person. Your office is an unusual office. You, you, you're, you exist to give money away. I mean, people must love you. <laughs> for this fiscal year, they will love me. For the next fiscal year, hopefully, if I have a lot of applications and I can only fund a certain amount of uh, applications. But you're still giving money away, though. You're still giving money away, right? Well, you know, again, the, the goal is renewable energy and energy efficiency. If they can come up with the 75%, and it has to be feasible because, you know, you, you're not going to bring in 75 and right sure yeah you're not so. going to bring in 75 it's not feasible no <laughs> banker in fact you're silly no bank you yeah no bank will finance yeah, yeah, so yeah um yeah, yeah it's it's a, a 25 percent uh, grant and again i have to it's 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 it is uh, money that is available, but it's it's an award system. Yeah, Under twenty thousand dollars, less competitive, just because you know, less. It's smaller. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, smaller. Yeah, yeah. But once you go above. Twenty thousand dollars, or even two hundred thousand dollars, then that's a different threshold. So, really so if I were about. applying, um, what do I need? Wh what is that first step? Do I need to have a bank that says, "Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bank you," or you know, we know that your project is you know go gonna be? I mean, how far along do I have to have this concept uh, to know that at least I'm in the running? Right. Oh, actually, I have a slide. I don't know if you could find it. Uh, the steps, uh, you know, to initiate an initiate an application. Um, I think it's uh, number 10. Yeah. Ah, there, nice. it there it is. There it is. Magic, eh? Oh, wow. You know, interesting. My first application, uh, you know, I'm new to the agency. My first application is kind of like what we des you described earlier, you know? It, you know, you take aspirin and you <laughs> put in an application. <laughs> now, I it goes back and forth, you know, the wrong form, you know, wrong project or wrong, uh, you know, everything was just a mess. I think... This is the key. <laughs> this so how to apply. This is how to apply. Uh, yeah. This is uh, for, uh, specifically for REAP. First thing I would do is check. Uh, check if you're a small business. You know, you're so an you ag producer. you don't have to be just yeah. a farmer. I mean, as a farmer, this is not an agricultural producer. You're not, you're, this is not for farmers, this thing. 
Oh, oh no, no, no. So you, you can be a, a small you farmer, be a farmer or, or you can be a small, a business. small business. And it, it has to be defined by SBA. So check. If you are a small business and they have a website for and that. And you can't be a nonprofit. Code. It has to so be for Sharon, profit. Oh, neither Think Tech nor the Hawaii Energy oh. Policy Farm will be, be oh. able to apply. Sorry about that. But we're in Honolulu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that too. <laughs> but you know, the thing about it is, I mean, I think we have to appreciate that um, you know this this hap this happens in a place where money is like more important for people. Of course, this happens in the countryside, well, yeah. and it's a big deal for them. It, uh, is. it changes their whole business or agricultural activity, but getting really sometimes only a few bucks. Um, and so there's a real value in a program mm -hmm. like this to help nope. in our neighbor islands. Yeah. Uh, especially in Hawaii. I mean, if you have a Rural Energy for America program under USDA, uh, say for example in the mainland. I mean, their electricity there is really cheap, and they get the benefit. Of course, it's 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 under it's USDA. Much cheaper. Mm -hmm. If you uh, have that over here in Hawaii, I mean, it's what three right. times more valuable as far as savings when mm -hmm. they have the energy cost project. of electricity being so much higher. Here. That is correct. And here's the best thing: the more successful applications that are filed with John, the better he is positioned to turn to Washington and say, "Okay." We have an active grantee <laughs> right. market, that's and we right. need Give more, us money. more money. Oh, the I more he gives away, <laughs> that's right. you don't have to agree or disagree. The <laughs> more, <laughs> the more he gives away, the more he's going to get right. to give away. So. It's a kind of cycle. Well, I hope, uh, I hope that's how it works. But I think we have a certain allocation, and unfortunately, I don't think I have control over that. But that's a good. Uh, yeah. it's, it's wishful so. anyway. Uh, yes, it is. I mean, it's, it's good. <laughs> okay, Sharon, let's put this in perspective. Uh, where, where does this fit in the energy landscape? Where does it fit in the uh, energy policy Well, it's farm? right in the center of the energy landscape, energy efficiency, renewable energy, and getting federal monies, some kind of support for that, and especially the rural communities, because that's where we need help. Uh, and, and it's right in the middle of what we're doing because it's providing resources and the kind of resources that John is talking about is not only getting the money, but helping communities, helping individuals and organizations to be, change their behavior and be much more conscious about um, saving, saving um, and not using fossil fuel. Yeah, it's all about incentives, isn't it? That's what we learned yesterday, I think, mm -hmm. at the uh, Energy Day program. It's all about incentives. And if you want to change conduct, you really have to yeah. ante up at the governmental level uh, and do things to either incentivize people to do the right thing or de-incentivize them to do from doing the wrong thing. <laughs> John, you close. What do you want to tell the people? Tell the people on camera one. <laughs> okay, so um, I think uh, USDA has uh, under uh, Rural Energy America program. It's 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 a very good uh, uh, program, um, and I think that people should take advantage of it, especially small business, rural and uh, uh, rural small business. How can they reach you? There slide. is a slide for that. Slide. What's the slide? <laughs> Number ten. Ten. Slide uh -huh. ten. Uh Okay. <laughs> There it is. There it is. So, uh, www.sam, can I read that? Dot .gov, is that it? Is that it? Oh, that's your no, 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 no. D-U-N-S number. <laughs> oh. There's the uh, yeah, wait, there wait. isn't any, uh, yeah, but, oh. uh, wait, wait, what's your what's website you're thinking, website? Uh, look at? Where's the website, uh, your email, or wherever they can get you? So, uh, email is, uh, John, my first name, of course, dot Antonio dot, uh, Oh, at, got my email at uh, hi.usda.gov. hi.usda.gov. That is correct. John. Antonio at uh, hi.usda.gov. That is correct. United okay. States Department of Agriculture helping us here in Hawaii. Ne. Thank you so much, John. You're John Antonio. Thank you for having me. John Sharon Moriwaki. Wow, it's Aloha. energy on Wednesday. Oh.